Sup guys, he King here. Say hi Loki. No? Go in. Yeah, what's up guys? Uh, he King here bringing you uh, some uh, enemy news or thoughts. Is it thoughts? Is it discussion? Not really sure. We'll see how it goes, right? Boruto. So yeah, the Boruto anime. This is about the Boruto anime. So yeah, we just finished with episode, I believe, two, is it, no, is it 200? Is it 219? We just finished 219 and essentially, let me just double check this actually, I want to be absolutely sure that it's 219. Um, it, could, it, could be two, it, it could be 220 actually, um, what was the last episode that aired? Da, da, da. It's very important actually, it's very important to know this. Yeah, it, actually no, uh, it, was, it was 220 guys, 220. So yeah, the last episode was 220 and with that essentially the... Um, first part of uh, the Boruto story is now complete. I know, and there's no tagline to say, no, part one or whatever, but in, in, my, in my eyes, I feel like it is the end of part one, and that we're now going into the second half of the story, especially if you consider the manga, right, and where the manga is. Um, I mean, from what, from what I understand, and what was said, we're supposed to be getting at least a total of 30 volumes with a Boruto. Of course things could end up getting extended and uh, we get an extension on the story depending on where it goes and you know where it is but as of this moment right now we've had 15 volumes and we're in volume 16 now. Now I believe yeah I believe that volume 14 legacy was uh, pretty much uh, the last thing that was adapted when it comes to the anime, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah, so 55, I believe, was the last thing that was was developed. And now we're moving on to volume 15, and there's only, well, it looks like it, there's only uh, seven chapters out right now. There's a lot of content that was cut out, by the way, you have to keep in mind that. Uh, last, last episode, or was it episode... 219 there was there was a few things that they did trim for that and there's a lot of things they changed around especially with uh, Boruto getting the pills and uh, just the whole concept and uh, interaction they've been very different from the manga and I will say I will say this a lot of the stuff that the anime does is an improvement over the manga with except uh, for uh, one of the recent episodes that we got where we have uh, who was it who was it attacking uh, Ishiki in that episode um when Ishiki comes to uh, Konoha village and we instead of him just sort of going around politely asking where Kawaki is and, and the soldiers whatever refusing to tell him you have uh, I believe Konohamaru, Kiba, Choji, uh, uh, Lee there and it shows them got, uh, preparing to fight him and then it just cuts away to, a, uh, to, to the other characters and when it cuts back they've been beaten off screen and I just remember thinking that is such an arse ball. That should have been an episode by itself. We should have seen these guys going at it with Ishiki. We should have seen Lee going five or six gates for Christ's sake and trying to take this dude down. But no, they get off screamed like a bunch of fodder. And yeah, that really that really peeved, peeved me off. I think I think it pissed a lot of people off actually. Like that was one of those cases where it was like, wow, you really screwed up when it came to uh, showcasing like the different power levels. But uh, the episodes after that did a really bloody good job. Uh, bio mode was was brilliant. That episode of Naruto going into bio mode and the extended stuff that they added with Kawaki was brilliant. So when it comes to when it comes to the emotional stuff and to the main main action sequences, they've done a really good job of adapting it. That said, one of the episodes that I absolutely hated that they uh, adapted from the uh, manga was uh, was the uh, Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen fight, which you know animation and art wise uh, it was done really well. But logically, it was one of the dumbest fights in the world. Like, I remember watching that and thinking, this is terrible. Like, from a writing perspective, this is stupid. Um, the fact that Naruto and Sasuke do not combine the Kurama and Susanoo modes to try and take this dude down. The fact that Sasuke has the Rinnegan and yet we never see him use any of the six path abilities. At least with Mamushiki, he used Palantari Devastation, but... Um, we didn't see him, you know, go out the way, you know, people like to say, oh, they went all out in that fight. They didn't go all out. We, we didn't see them go all out. Like, it was a pathetic fight. And, yeah, I didn't like it in the manga and I didn't like it in the anime. So there are, there are exceptions where, like, um, you don't get those improvements that you should technically get. And it was embarrassing to watch that fight, to be honest. Like, 
yeah, I didn't I didn't like it at all. Like it was it was really really bad. Um, and I believe that was episode two hundred and four. Was it? He's bad news. Wow, that's crazy. That that was a long. That was like a good few months ago, wasn't it? And now we're here. And um, yeah, yeah. Essentially, I believe I can say. I think it's safe to say that yeah, like uh, the first half of the story is now done, and we're moving on to what would be considered the second part. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where the story goes. Uh, for now, obviously, it's been confirmed that we're getting anime canon episodes. Now, the next arc is is a, the re-examination Chunin arc. So that's pretty much confirmed. We're getting we're getting another Chunin arc, and hopefully, uh, obviously, this means now it now will be the top perfect time to bring all the uh, supporting cast back and see how they developed because we have not seen those characters interacting properly or getting any sort of story or development with them for a good 30 episodes now I believe like everything has been focused entirely on the relationship between uh, Kawaki Boruto, Naruto, Sasuke and Jigen obviously so and, and Kara essentially so yeah not a lot of time has been given to the other characters which is very disappointing because I was really hoping that when Kawaki comes to the village we would get an anime canon uh, sort of episodes with him interacting with all the other villagers and all the other characters, but we didn't get that. It just completely focused on adapting the manga, and yeah, while it did a good job, there's a lot of stuff in there in between where it's like, what's going on with the other characters? How what do they feel? How do they feel about Kawaki, etc., etc. Et Especially in, when you it, when you look at uh, later manga chapters that we've gotten, where for example Shikadai ends up like sort of like standing up for Kawaki and you know looking out for him, and it's like these two haven't interacted at all. Like they know they've in, obviously in the manga it seems they've interacted off screen, but we haven't seen that interaction together. So I'm hoping with this tune in arc, we get these characters interacting. We get Kawaki maybe taking part in it actually, maybe like a, like a becoming an official Genin. Maybe somehow maybe he comes in and it's like Naruto is like you know what you can take part, but obviously that doesn't mean we're going to make you a tune in. It just means we we'll get to see how you're. Uh, and you can consider this sort of like a training thing and you get to train with the other students in a very serious manner obviously don't kill them but let's see what you can do with what with, with, with the strength you have now and yeah and use that opportunity to basically hone your skills and that and interact and get to know the other characters so i'm hoping that's kind of what they're going to go into the direction they're going into um it's going to be interesting because it seems it seems that they're going to try and have the i don't know if, if, if the tuning exams are going to start from from like uh, from the start again, from the beginning, or if it's gonna, if they're gonna change the rules and have it start in a certain way where it's like, well, now we're not gonna get any interference from Yasutsuki, whatever. Like maybe you resume the rematches again or whatever. Like of course, in this arc, they're gonna allow a ninja tools to be used. So I'm curious to see how that's what role that's gonna play. Like is, is Boruto gonna go into this and be like, I don't want to use ninja tools, or is it gonna be like, oh, it's cool to use it now. Um, okay, uh, maybe I don't want to use something. A bit different maybe not the do you know what I mean so it'll be interesting to see what they do with this uh, especially since Naruto I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with Naruto and Sasuke as well since they're now uh, depowered um, and in terms of the future I'm really hoping that when we do get the time skip that it goes at least for the manga especially because I really am not enjoying the manga at all uh, people are like oh my god the manga is great it's not great it is it is pretty bad like the manga does not develop the world. There is no world building in the manga. There is no real character development in the manga. Uh, for Christ's sake, when Kuruma died in in the manga, it was like such a very fast and bad exchange. Like Naruto even says, "Yeah, well, I think Kuruma's like, so any last things you want to say to me?" And Naruto's like, "Yeah, you killed my mom and dad." So there's that. And I'm just like, what? What? What kind of interaction is that? Like the writing for the manga is piss poor. And then you compare what they did with, with it in the anime recently, and it was very emotional and very tearful. Like, it did get me tearful for that. Like, like Kuruma's dead. Like, he's dying, and they're making this big emotional thing about it, and they did such a good job with that. Whereas in the manga, it's like, oh yeah, he's dead, bye. So yeah, when it, when it comes to the manga, I'm not impressed. At all. At all. Like, the manga is, is a rushed-ass job, and it takes a lot of liberties with, uh, with how it does certain things, and you don't get... You know, this is, it's called Boruto, Naruto Next Generation, okay? The Next Generation is in the title, for Christ's sake, and we've not gotten anything for the Next Generation. It's just completely focused on Boruto and Kawaki as a whole. You don't really get a lot of character development at all with, uh, with other characters. So I'm hoping beyond God that if we do end up going into a time skip that, uh, you know, with Kishimoto back as well, he will try and focus on 
some of the side characters coming in because I don't want this series to end in a way where it's just focusing on, on those two. I want the other characters to take part. Even if they're not all powerful, I want them to at least offer some 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 sort of help. I don't want this to be a repeat of Shippuden where, you know, to be fair, at least when we got to the final battle, it was Team 7, do you know what I mean? Uh, saving the day. But I'm hoping this is going to be more of a case of, of the next generation working together as a whole. Do you know what I mean? And not just sort of like, oh yeah, uh, they're captured or, or they're beaten, they can't take part. Like, no. Focus on the next generation, for Christ's sake. Focus on the interactions. That's what I want to see. I want to see the other characters shine. So I'm hoping this arc does that, and I'm hoping that when we do get the time skip, or and we go into like the next half of Boruto, that it does that as well. Like, it takes the time to show us those other characters and show what they're made of and that. Because at the moment, we're not getting in that in the manga, we're getting that in the anime instead. And the anime has done a much better job when it comes to character development and world building. And that's why the anime for me is, is, is top tier. It, like, it may not be as good as other animes, but in terms of what it does and how it's told its story, it's a lot better done than what the, what the manga has given us. But yeah, curious to see where the rest of the series is going to go from here. And yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. Hopefully it gets better and hopefully next year will we'll give us some good anime canon episodes before we dive into the manga material again because right now we need a good long stretch of um, what do you call it time period to timber at the manga get ahead of it all right guys that's my thoughts on this as always remember to like and subscribe and yeah i shall see you and i shall see you take care and bye